Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. So, in this episode, we have achieved lives from the polar bear here. Thank you to everybody who told me about that, by the way. Uh, I had completely forgotten about that. However, besides getting lives from Mr. Polar Bear there, whose name, I believe, is actually just Polar. I mean, really obvious, I know. We are doing Crash Crush in this episode. Which, based on the fact that we are running towards the camera, you can make an inference about what that involves. And that would be this here little... ...guy thing, which is otherwise known as a snowball. So let's see if we can't get all the boxes here and maybe stop hitting those things? That'd be kind of awesome if we could... Oh, no, we can't. It... Oh, I just... ...slid through existence there. I mean, I managed to break one of the pla one of the platforms of that bridge there by sliding through existence. Also, if, wow, I am really bad at m avoiding avoiding those things. For some reason, it's just, oh my, see, I ran right into that, literally, and I didn't even mean, I tried to jump over that, I just, I can't do it. It is not something I am capable of doing. Also, how did I break that section of the bridge, considering it's only the snowball that's supposed to break them? I guess that's just the way things go. Now it doesn't matter if we hit those or not. Because now we have the time that we can waste. However, we also have to be careful that we slide into the right things. So let's come back here and explore it. We don't want to miss any boxes if we can help it. And if we get a chance to run backwards through the level, yeah, we might as well take it. So here we have this and a Mr. Platform platform that's going to carry us away back to from whence we came. So now we're back here towards the opening. However, we have the chests which we would have otherwise missed had we not taken that platform. So now this is like avoid all the electricity zone while continually trying to avoid the bombs and not fall in the pits. Which can be kind of hard when you're talking over video games. I mean, I don't I don't know how many of you guys talk over video games. However, talking over video games can be can make you pretty bad at video games sometimes, like dumbly bad at at times. Oh man, this is like re react to everything. Don't mess up, Ville. Okay, well, at least we didn't mess up there. And at least they're kind enough to give you a checkpoint pretty much every time that you pass um, pass through a section that involved that involved a giant snow. Oh, that's terrifying. That involves a giant snowball. They give you a checkpoint. Also, I jumped way too late there. I appreciate the checkpoint in this, however, if not for the fact that it just makes it so when you mess up, it doesn't feel like, oh no, I've just wasted an entire hour of my time. No, it's like, oh yeah, you wasted 30 seconds of your time. Stop sucking and actually start doing video games. Which I have not done so far. Okay, so I think the snowball is going to fall through this here little thing. Perfect. Now we have Bonusville. Let's face plant straight into Bonusville. Perfect. Okay. So what kind of bonuses do we have here? Lots of Wumper Fruits are had. Okay, so that's Wumpa Fruit Zone. Can we just, like, slide jump? Perfect. That's exactly how I wanted that to happen. And now we can face plant through all of those, get all sorts of Wumpa Fruits, hit everything ever, jump across these. We could just... Okay, so something I haven't shown off and something that I kind of forgot about until the comments mentioned is if you crouch and then jump, you do do a high jump, I'm still kind of partial to the to the slide jumps, just because, I don't know, I guess that's kind of what I'm used to at, at this point. However, at least now I've shown the high jump, so I feel a little bit better about that. Don't forget your crystal. It's kind of hard to miss in this level, to be frank. However, you still could just run by it if you're not paying attention. Get all sorts of Wumper Fruits, a checkpoint, and now this one. This, if I remember correctly, is the tricky one, trying to get all the boxes. Because there's lots of stuff. However, hell if I remember correctly, it's been... Honestly, it's been a long time since I've played this game. I mean, we are talking... Uh, this game came out in, what, 97, 98, was it? It's probably been since... Oh, I fell on the exact same pit twice. It's probably been since 2002 since I've played this game, if I, if I had to guess. I did play a little bit just as, like, do I actually want to LP this game? However, I did not actually beat the game. So, oh, thank God I did not fall in that same pit twice. Get all the boxes, avoid the everything. Did we actually recover that right now? Did that just happen? I think that just happened. 
Oh my god, that's evil! That is evil! That is evil that you put a box that you have to- Oh my god, that is evil. That is cruel and unusual punishment right there. Okay, I think we might... No, I couldn't get that box. Holy cow. That has to be very... You have to be really on the button with your timing with that one. Holy crap. Round three, fail. That was not terribly surprising, to be frank. However, it's still really depressing at the same time. Oh, that was just depressing. I jumped right over the box. And it's like, yeah, you can't have things. Why would you want to have things? Okay, we really have quite a jump on the boulder here this time. Holy cow. We did some serious... Hold, how did we even do that? I mean, I realized that we were kind of spin jumping the whole time, but seriously, that much of a lead on the boulder is... That just happened right now. I can't believe that. That's like... I don't think I've ever been so far ahead of the snowball that it was actually off screen. So I'm pretty sure at some point there that that snowball was off screen. Holy cow. Okay, well that went spectacularly. Sorry, Crash, I have to interrupt your dance. So now we have the eel deal. Oh man. Pretty much exactly what I just said. Oh and man at the same time. Okay. So we have sewers and we have fans that we are going in between. Don't hit the Mr. Cleans there. Or what are those things called? Scrubbing bubbles, I think they're called? The, the things that, like, clean your toilet that have the commercials that are supposedly, like, things cleaning your toilet, essentially? Come on, just break the box. Break. No, oh, that, not that box. That was not what I meant at all, Crash. I meant to break the boxes that were not the nitros, the boxes that we wish to break. However, so the eels are the things that are electrifying the water, just like so, that we definitely almost got hit by. Luckily, the timing was not too bad on it. Also, my angle there was awful. Let's just completely forgo that eel. Perfect. Oh, we killed both, both scrubbing bubbles at the same time, and we got the checkpoint. Okay, can I seriously face plant? I can't face plant plant through that box. Okay. Well, avoid the spiky mice. Because they'll mess you up pretty hard if you're not careful. Okay, get our extra what have we got on the right here. Is this... Yeah, this is this is the dangerous zone. So we can get that. However, can we? Yeah, that's what I thought. We can't actually go through that wall. Cause that's definitely something that you're supposed to do in video games, right? Aren't you supposed to go through walls? Isn't that how isn't that how games work? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's how games work. However, we can head through this entirely dangerous corridor of eel madness and get ourselves the green gem! Perfect. So going backwards through this is pretty much no fun at all. I will do my best to make it back alive, which I failed. However, that doesn't really matter too much because now that we're back here, we still have the green gem. So as long as we can complete this level in the next 25 lives, which I would call at this point a fairly bleak prospect, I don't think that's very likely at all. Also, thank God that I respawned. However, because I definitely forgot to get that box last time. Okay, so uh, Eel, you can do that. Perfect. Now we're doing much better. We can completely forgo the green gem walking through walls path this time around. And I actually want to get off that in case... It Sometimes those platforms fall, and I'm not exactly sure when and when they do not fall. I'd rather just not get trolled by the platforms and just be safe than sorry. Sometimes they'll sink into the electricity water, and then you'll just be sad. Hey, we don't even have to jump across those. How convenient. Okay, give me that life. Perfect. And now can I face plant through those two? Oh, beautiful. That was a beautiful number of face plants there, Crash. Thank you. I have no desire really to get the Wumper Fruits from any of those. I'd rather just break them all. Perfect! That was a very quick and expedient bonus level. I will take it gladly. So we have what? Yeah, 28 boxes so far? I do not remember how many boxes there are in this level. I'm going to assume the Wumper Fruits is the correct path. So I'm going to not take the Wumper Fruit path. I must. Okay, what is through here? 
I have no idea off the top of my head what is this direction, except apparently boxes and a hole you can fall through. Let's not fall through that hole. So, boxes upon boxes upon boxes, and this, is this to the secret exit down here? I think it is. Let's go exploring anyway. I guess we'll find out what's down here. There's the Nitro Bots break, at very least. I'm assuming, however, the fact that we went this way second means we went the wrong way. And we're probably not going to get the Bots gem for this one. I'm assuming we probably have to, had to run left and break some boxes there. And then come back to the right and fall down this way to, the, to this exit. I'm guessing that's what we had to do. However, I guess we won't really know until the end of the level. I'm just not getting my hopes up to actually have received all of the boxes. Yeah, there must have been 10 boxes off to the left there. So we'll have to redo this level. However, we did get the green gem, at very least. So that has to count for something, right? I mean, we definitely had a walk through walls. Let's enjoy our acquiring of the green gem, which is another color gem. We didn't even get the crystal. We completely missed the crystal, too. So let's go back through that level and get what we missed. Okay, so yeah, the, here they are. Here's the boxes that we missed last time. So there's, what, six and then nine? Nine boxes? Did we literally just miss a box somewhere God knows where? Maybe there was a box off to the right-hand side, off by the green platform that I'm just, like, forgetting about? That is completely possible, and if that's the truth, and we have to go through this level a third time, I will be kind of sad in a lot of ways. So let's hope that's not the truth. Let's just break all these boxes, and I will meet you back at the end. Oh, I might have not hit that box la last time. The box that was in the ceiling right there? I can't say for sure whether I got that last time or not. Maybe that's the box we missed. No, we definitely missed a, missed a bot still. Well, I mean, we got the crystal. That's disappointing that we missed only one bot, though. I can't believe that. Okay, so at least let's show off the crystal being acquired by us, at, at very least. Now let's go through the eel deal. Oh, oh, never mind. We have a cutscene. We have a cutscene. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You are no way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between warp rooms. Remember, I'm counting on you. Okay, thank you, Neocortex. You're not, like, menacing or terrifying or kind of maybe possibly trying to deceive us or anything like that. No, of course not. I mean, that, that that's ridiculous, Jake. Shut up. Yep, that's the one bot that we missed. It was off to the right here by the Nitros. I'm just dumb and forgot about it. Oops. Here we go. Now we have the gem. Perfect. It only took three runs to get every every single item, all three items. One item per run, literally. We got the, the, the green gem the first time, the crystal the second time, and then the, the, the normal gem the third time. I mean, that's not ridiculous or anything. However, next time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, we will take on the next boss and we will get on to the next warp room. So, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching. No, 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 we're watching this and oh my god! No, I did not mean to go into the next boss, but I guess you're getting a bonus because of accidental stuff. So, psych! We're not ending this episode right now. You thought we were, didn't you? Yeah, but we're not. We are instead... Fighting the next boss, which happens to be Swordmen, which are otherwise known as the Komodo Bros. So these, while he flashes white, he spins around, then he runs into the other brother, and it takes away a piece of heart. Well, it, not a piece of heart, that's like Zelda stuff right there. It takes away a piece of their HP. This part's pretty straightforward, you just stay behind the guy as he s throws his swords around. Then he's gonna whack his brother around, just avoid the brother running into you. Luckily, we do happen to have a what have we got hit him while he flashes. There's another piece of HP. And then he's going to start throwing. This part is going to take a little bit longer, but it's, again, it's exactly the same. Just stay right behind him. Or, well, just stay anywhere that's not right in front of him. 
However, this time, while he's spinning around, he's going to be throwing swords at you as well, which makes it moderately harder. Just don't stand in one spot, and you should be fine. And then hit him one more time, and that's literally... Whoa, we managed to get hit there somehow. However, that's literally all there is to the boss. Pretty straightforward, if I do say so myself. Nice dance there, Crash. You are the man. And now that we've beaten the Komodo Bros, we can get on to warp room number three. And some, for some reason, come straight out of plant food. And get a cutscene, because we're just the luckiest guys around. Good show, Crash. The Komodo Brothers obviously lacked your medal. But now is not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Thank you, Neocortex. So now for real this time, next time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2, we will do plant food. So until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.